Okay, hi, here we go. Um, sample number four. Okay. Um, yeah, tonight's night to go out, and if you can see, Mars is at its closest uh, point. It's really bright in the sky tonight, so after class, if you get a chance to go out and look at the stars, it'll probably show from about 10, 10.30 on, you'll be able to see it. Okay. Um, okay, so we'll just start. Here's our sample chart. And um, the first thing we got to look at is the pattern type. And with the pattern type, you can see that all of the moon opposes Neptune and all the planets are on one side except for Saturn, which is on the other side. So this is the bucket type with Saturn as the handle. So nine planets on one side, one planet on the other side, the bucket type. The bull gets a handle. Um, yeah, this reveals a person who dwells deeply into life and enthusiastically, enthusiastically pours forth the results of experience. One's personal efforts will go out in an uncompromising or rigid manner. You'll have a basic interest in a cause or purpose, but will have little concern over the final results. You will use whatever is at your disposal as you see fit. You are inclined to make allegiances that will be of the most benefit to you. The handle planet shows the main focus or outland life. So in this case, the handle planet is Saturn. So it's funny because this you have the enthusiastic sense of the bull, the enthusiastic pattern, but the handle is Saturn, which is like cautious and serious. So you have enthu cautious enthusiasm um, or enthusiasm that's perhaps at times inhibited or reserved. Uh, but the focus becomes on responsibility, on stability, on respect, so there, and on Saturn issues. So this is, um, yeah, okay. So it's a, of all the bucket types, the Saturn handle is, um, it can be ambition, it can be inhibition. Um, it depends on the Saturn. So. Here is Saturn is one of the planets we're going to have to look at just to see the fullness of this pattern. So it's it's almost like a seesaw, except it's only one planet. So all the ideal planets are on one way, and all of that energy is balanced and is put in the direction of the of the of the one Saturn of the one point. Okay, so we'll leave that there. We got to go to the moon phase. And with the moon phase, we have put it here. On the moon phase, you look at this. You see the sun conjunct Jupiter and Leo. Nice, but you get the sun. You look the line opposing it to Aquarius, and. The moon's not on the counterclockwise side. It's not on the side that's moving away from the sun. The moon is from the sun going clockwise. You'd see the moon, but in the zodiac, it's moving from Aquarius to Pisces to Aries to Taurus. It's in Taurus. It's moving back towards to Gemini to Cancer to Leo. So it's in the last, it's in the waning half. And it's a sextile, so it's between 45 and 90. So it's going from the waning half moon down to down to the down to that uh, waning half it's the waning half moon phase phase from the waning half moon to the waning crescent okay so this phase begins at the waning half and ends three and a half days later at the crescent moon the moonlight is diminishing less than half of the moon sphere is lit up and is getting smaller there is a sense of more moving towards a new beginning somewhere in the not too distant future there's also a sense of being insignificant in the light of what is to come. You might at times feel that you're losing your independence and wanting to find reinforcement from someone else, anyone else. You'll often feel that you are changing and will not be 
doing what you are presently involved in. Along with this comes the sense of maintaining a facade or image while preparing within for a very different reality. The minute you find yourself in a committed situation, you'll either want more or, you will, or you'll start preparing for the next one. This means that you often harbor doubts about your present hope, present and hope for a better future. With this attitude, consistency can be a problem. You want to share, but you have to have a sense of why and where it is all leading to. If you feel that the people around you are not sharing or going in the same direction as you, you will align to new, new aspirations and associates. Often it will seem like you're just waiting for the opportunity to change. Old accomplish accomplishments will be left behind for new adventures and new relationships. Your idealism about relationships can cause personal pain and bring vulnerabilities to the surface. It is important for you to get hugs and encouragement. You seem to lose yourself in every new involvement. You are a little too quick to respond to a need or a time demand. You need to try to find quality in your relationships rather than quantity. You need to try and understand why you are attracting the type of people that you do. You are looking for the seeds, but don't often look deep enough. You want someone else to show you the answer. You try to throw yourself too strongly and prematurely into relationships and then try excessively hard to make it work. Sometimes the other person does not deserve or meet your energy. Okay, so this is, it's funny because it's the end of a phase, the light's facing, there's a, a sort of anticipation of new, but there's a sense of the ending of the old and there's a certain um, inhibition or, or, or caution that goes with it or sense of not fitting in. Well, when you think of that and you put it to the pattern type, with the bucket pattern type and Saturn as the focus, you have this, the cautious Saturn focus or the inhibited Saturn focus and the moon phase feeling, what, this is changing, what am I doing here? Why am I staying here? What's going on here? It can't stay like this. So you can see they, they kind of feed into each other in a Saturnian inhibited way. So when inhibited, this will be very inhibited chart in the inhibited phase. It's when um, ambitious, or disciplined or functional be very serious and accomplishing. And when she would try to do things, she would work really hard to make things happen. And she put all the energy in, but then if she felt it wasn't going anywhere, she'd still be trying to fix it, trying to fix it, trying to fix it and work really hard and hang in with the Saturn element of the bucket type, hanging into the um, waning crescent phase of my lights, the lights getting deeper, getting less, it's going towards a, a deeper, a, dark, a deeper, almost darker, but it's really a more inner, um, new presence. So and uh, this isn't going to last forever. This is here, this is the commitment, this is what's going on, but I can see it's changing. I can see what's going to. So you can, there's lots of room to work with this and just, um, but you're seeing a kind of connection between the, the moon phase playing into the inhibition or the ending of things and the bucket pipe playing into the Saturn of the responsibility and the responsibility for it all. Okay. It's over here. Yeah. Okay, so we get to look at the, the chart. We have when it, so So we got this Saturn inhibited sense from the two patterns. But when we look at the actual positions of the sun and moon, the sun's in Leo, conjunct but the sun's in Leo and the moon's in Taurus. And they're not even square to each other. They're not like these are very independent very independent I me sign. The, the Taurus moon. I know what I like. I need to live this way. I, I, and the, the Leo sun, the proud Leo sun up in the 10th but we're just and the Libra ascendance when we're looking at the sun moon and ascendant we see Leo Taurus Libra so we see the Libra and the Taurus is going to be ruled by Venus wanting appreciation wanting comfort wanting to be nice wanting nice things 
okay, feeling need to feel appreciated. And um, we have the sun ruling itself. Oh, here I am. Okay, so here I am, and you must need, I need to be appreciated. So I need applause and appreciation. So it points to just the simple things. You're looking at this sun, moon, ascendant. So let's just get on this point system over. You can see it, but I can't see it on my screen because of the my control panel. Um, okay, so with the sun, moon, and ascendant, the Leo Taurus is you have if you count the two points for sun, moon, you got four points fixed, one cardinal, no mutable in this. So you see, very determined, fixed, consistent person with a very strong and proud sense of what's comfortable, what's nice, what's good, what's not. Okay. And the Libra said it would need to charm or be pleasant. Or... So that's nice. So the fixed, the um, daylight increasing, nighttime increasing, the Libra is nighttime increasing. So again, the I, me is more than the we, us. Um, being the Leo and the Taurus relationships would have to be an add on rather than a takeaway. Um, now, the um, yeah, it's fire, earth, air. You don't see the water. You don't see the sympathetic accentuation at this stage, at this point, and um, yeah. So, like most, of, like there's a that's but just the proud Leo. The sun ruling itself, da da, moon and Taurus. This is nice, it's stubborn of what's good, what's nice, what's appreciative. It's not what I like. And so you get, you get the sense someone, a very determined, consistent person that identifies the beauty or the sharing, has the sense that it'll leave a rising. Okay. But at this point, we don't, you wouldn't see the sympathetic side first. You'd notice someone, you'd see what they're wearing, and there'd be a certain style to it because of the Venus. And but you wouldn't get the emotional connection. The water, there's not the water in those three elements. So okay, this is the starting point. We just just the idea to play. It's just getting us into the chart with the pattern type and the moon phase being inhibited. The sun and the moon and the Libra rising. This is not. So inhibited, so like, it's a, there's a contrast here. So the basic nature you meet is different than the pattern type and and the um, and the moon phase. So here's this energy, ta -da! but the pattern type says to think, how long can I maintain it? Or it's changing. Here it is, but it's changing. It's moving in another direction. I'm not going to be here forever. I'm not staying in this place for a fixed sign. So what's what's stable? What's secure? Interesting puzzle. It's enough. Just you're touching sort of notes, trying to pull these things together, just by simple associations by what we've run across. No great in-depth thing, but just insightful glimpses.